Can medication for erectile dysfunction actually save your life? I'm Dr. Rena Malik, urologist and pelvic surgeon, and today we're gonna talk about a study that looked at rates of suicide after medications like sildenafil or Viagra became generic and more affordable, and what that means for mental health and sexual function. In previous videos, we've talked about how mental health can impact your sexual function, but how much can your sexual function cause issues with your psychological health. We know that sexual intimacy has so many benefits, including feeling happier, feeling a sense of self-worth, desirability and belonging, and just overall satisfaction. But can actually having a good sex life actually save your life? Researchers in Sweden wanted to answer this question. So they looked at rates of suicide and they described suicide as a unquestionably objective and subjectively important measure of mental health in a population. Did that change after coverage for Viagra, also known as sildenafil, changed in Sweden in 2013? To do this, they specifically looked at men ages 50 to 59, primarily because this is the age group that was more likely to commit suicide and also more likely to get a prescription for sildenafil if they were having issues with sexual function. And they looked at counts of suicide and they plotted them from January 2005 to December 2014. And so before 2013, they looked at the counts and they made a line. And based on this, they estimated where they would see the dots or counts for the coming year. And what they found was that it was significantly lower. In fact, 4.6 deaths lower per month for the 14 months after sildenafil became generic. That's about 65 fewer suicides. That's a big number. So based on this method that they used, they claim that you can't really attribute this change in suicides to seasonality, to any sort of bias samples or weird reverse trends. Basically, sexual intimacy with male erectile function protects against suicide, at least in this su Swedish population aged 50 to 59. And they went as far as to say like, well, people might say this could occur by chance, but when they looked back at the models, they found that this would only occur by chance in one in 10,000 experiments. So that's really unlikely to be due to chance. And so basically what they're saying is that if we're able to restore erectile function in those that desire it, we may be able to restore relationship intimacy and hopefully reduce rates of potentially mental illness and suicide. And potentially having interventions that allow sildenafil or meds for erectile dysfunction to be widely available may actually provide significant benefits to society. That's wild, right? And I think that that just tells us how we don't talk about sexual function enough in society with other people. And I think it's so, so important for everyone, both men, women, those who are non-binary or identify with other genders to talk about sexual function and the importance of it for them and whatever issues they're having so that we can help overcome them. All right. As always, we're going to take care of yourself because you're worth it.